Hey, and welcome to the Uncomfortable is Okay podcast. I'm your host, Chris Desmond, and this is a show where we make it easier for you to get out of your comfort zone. Now, last week on the podcast, I was having a chat with Jace Tepatu, and one of the things we talked about was the ripple effect. So I wanted to actually just jump into this a little bit in this mini episode and and talk through it in a little bit more detail. What I mean by the ripple effect is... When you perform an action or you share an idea or you say something, that obviously has an immediate effect on what's going on around you. You kind of use your use this action or what you're saying or the idea to influence your immediate surroundings. But also this has a ripple effect outwards from there as well. So that immediate effect that something has catalyzes the next thing in a chain of events and then the next thing and then the next thing and once you set this ripple effect in motion you're never really sure where it's going to go so a good example of this is last weekend i spoke down at afi yoga with jace at a movember event and me and a couple of other guys dallas tahuna and alex from good buzz kombucha we spoke, we we opened up, we, we shared some stories reasonably honestly, and there were a whole lot of people in the room sitting there listening. So one thing that might happen from us sharing our stories is that these guys are going to go away and potentially have some more in-depth conversations with their mates. They may feel comfortable now sharing a little bit more of their story honestly, then that mate might go away share something with their mates open and honestly and that's that's an example of the ripple effect and a positive example of it so we we never quite know where these ripples are going to end up you could set one off in motion and it could end up with some some really positive outcomes it could end up with some negative outcomes or it could just end up with some indifferent ripples that that spread out from this action that you've taken. So usually the ripples travel from from person to person. So one person catalyzes another person that catalyzes another person that catalyzes another person, or they can be ideas. So an idea that, that you share or an idea that you take in catalyzes another idea that someone links that up in their brain or actually the idea that you're that you're taking in catalyzes another idea in your brain based on other experiences that you have had previously but you wouldn't have put those two together until you'd taken in this new information and then that new idea ripples off onto another idea and another idea and another idea and things just kind of flow on so so it's a pretty interesting concept and you can get pretty deep pretty quickly with it and and get a little bit worried about things but i want to i want to share an example of the ripple effect in action with this podcast actually so must have been over 10 years ago that that i try i trace this back to maybe 11 or 12 is I put, picked up a book about Genghis Khan, actually, of, of all people, and I sat down and started reading it, and I was like, this guy is just super fascinating what he was what he was able to do. Uh, a little bit of an aside, if I was able to sit down with three guests for dinner, dead, dead or alive, and, and ask them questions, he would be one of the dudes. So yeah, picked up this book about Genghis Khan, read it, got really, really interested in in it in in the history around it and then a little bit further down the track I don't really remember how far might have been like four or five years down the track someone shared a link on Facebook about Dan Carlin's hardcore history Uh, he was doing a podcast series called Wrath of the Khans about Genghis Khan and, and about his his family and the dynasty that he created and I was like well that sounds super interesting so I started listening to that and then from from there I was like podcasts are, podcasts are pretty amazing so jumped into jumped into listening to some more still love Dan Carlin's hardcore history ones but um, other ones kind of a little bit more sort of in the self uh, self development realm and then that kind of snowballed from there when I was when I was searching for a creative outlet for myself someone said why don't you start a podcast and because I'd been listening to podcasts for a couple of years by that stage, I thought, that's a bloody good idea. And thus, the Uncomfortable Is OK podcast was created. And I don't know if it would be here or not, or be here in the same iteration as it is, 
if I hadn't picked up that book about Genghis Khan 11 or 12 years ago. But it's a fascinating, fascinating example of the way that the ripple effect works. Don't freak yourself out too much about it. But what I do want to say is just be mindful of the actions that you're taking. Be mindful of the things that you are saying to people because it will cause a ripple effect. And ideally, you want that ripple effect to have positive consequences. So be mindful of the ripples that you create, but make sure that you create uncomfortable ripples. Thanks for getting uncomfortable with us today and have a great weekend.